news. Welcome back to Mid Morning. The Kentucky Heritage Jazz Festival is coming up. It's three days of live jazz, food, and fun. Here to tell us more is Sam Carr. Sam, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. This sounds like a great time. It is. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, we are we are back um, at Old Fort Heritage this year, uh, September 20th through the 22nd, and. Um, Harrodsburg's 250 years old this year, oldest town in the state, so we're continuing a year-long celebration of the Harrodsburg 250, and, and we're, it's appropriate that we're back at Old Fort Harrod this year for, for the Jazz Festival. So three days, September 20th through the 22nd, we've got 16 jazz bands, um, and jazz is such a diverse genre, there's all kinds of music, uh, quartets all the way up to collegiate big bands. Uh, of course, there's food trucks, and if anybody ever toured Old Fort Herod as a kid or on a field trip with their kid, we've got free admission to the fort on Saturday and Sunday from noon to 5 p.m. Uh, so we just invite everybody to come out and enjoy, enjoy some great music. It's, it's very, very peaceful and it's, it's a fun time. Is there any specific theme on each of the days or is it kind of, you have a mix of bands? Um, Friday night, um, is, is more of a party. We're kicking yeah. things off with Adrian Crutchfield and you know I've been here a few times when we've talked about this festival. Adrian's been here for a while. He was the last saxophonist for Prince yeah. and since he started playing at our festival a few years ago his career has literally taken off. He, he did uh, jazz tours with Dave Cause this year. He's got concerts coming up again with CeeLo Green and he fit us in when we booked him last year he held the date He's, he's more um, smooth jazz, R&B, hip hop, elements of rock. He's more of a party thing and we're kicking off Friday night, him as our headline act. And then Saturday is more traditional jazz. Um, we've got seven bands performing on Saturday. Uh, we've partnered with Keith McCutcheon at Kentucky State University to put together an all-star band. Very nice. uh, K-Jam Collective will be headlining Saturday night and then Sunday is collegiate big bands. Okay. And this is free, people can just bring yeah. some lawn chairs, come it, watch it? it? Totally free. We've, we're, we're blessed uh, with the support of about 40 corporate sponsors and partners. Uh, Mercer Chamber of Commerce is, is, is um, worked with us for years on this festival and also Harrodsburg Mercer County Tourist Commission is, is a huge supporter both financially and in terms of marketing. So it's totally free. Where can people get more info about the event? Uh, website. Uh, uh, you, you can go to the website and see the full band lineup, get the bios on the bands, um, see the food trucks that'll be there, um, and uh, we just we just invite people to to check it out. Come come spend a weekend with us in Harrodsburg. You can come listen to jazz. You can go to Shaker Village and get lunch or Beaumont Inn. You can come make a day or make a weekend of it. I was going to say, it seems like you can pick a couple hours if you want to. Yeah. You can hang out all day. You, 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 you can come and go. It's whatever you want. And if folks want to set up a pop-up tent uh, and not block anyone's view, <laughs> we're, we're, do it in the back. we're perfectly yes. happy with that. Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of folks do that. Okay. I'm well, sure it'll be a great time. Thank yeah, it you. Is. Thank you for having me. <laughs>